Hey guys, if you were wondering what I was going to use with all that stuff, well, there it is. Most of it is on this bag. Just three things I could hang up on here. I can't. Um, I'll probably save it for the other side. So, yeah, it's uh, Ita bag. Uh, Ita bag. And, um, yeah. So just gonna do some close-ups and hope you enjoy. Unfortunately, um, the vinyl bag I got to protect this uh, is longer and definitely wider than this tote. So, I mean, I've already uh, gotten clips so I could clip the tops to the top, but um, I'll need to put something underneath the bag so it doesn't shift or like, destroy itself. Um, what I've learned, well not really learned, I kind of already knew, but what I really, really, really hate, um, it was actually kind of fun to like put things out and have like somewhat of a uniform uh, order going pattern design, I don't know what to call it, <laughs> um, but actually like placing them and going, okay, I'm going to pin these things here and then actually doing it was so freaking hard. Because, um, you know, pins move, so some of these, you can see how this one moves, but with the gravity weight, um, you have to anticipate how it's going to move down, or things might shift. Um, so I always, I kind of forgot about that at the beginning, so it was really, really annoying to pin it, clasp it, and then realize, crap, I don't, it's like in a weird position because I didn't um, factor in that it would shift and move really easily. Some of them don't, like you see here, and then some of these do, like this one. Um, and see, like, it depends on which pin. And yeah, um, don't know if you can tell, but I used a chain for some of these. So I decided to get large um, safety pins and pin them on each side here um, and then I got a chain and I attached it to the safety pin like so and I looped it because otherwise the chain would have been too long and gone like all the way down here I looped it so um, it would shorten but I also used the loops to attach these uh, cell phone strap metal charms to it um, and you can see I attached some of the cell phone charms to the chain as well. I took off the little, uh, I don't know what they're called, labrate, lab, not labrate, I don't know what they're called, but the little, um, cell phone straps. Uh, these two straps are actually held by the cell phone strap. I don't know if you can see, but I tied it up to this, to the pins on the side. Some of these are, uh, connected by the pin. Um. Like here, you can tell I looped the key. Uh, I totally forgot what they're called, but the bell. Uh, I don't. What am I even saying? Ball chains, ball chains. I looped the ball chains through the pin, so you see that. Um, so yeah, this is basically what I used all that stuff for. Um, Obviously, I've only filled one side. I don't know about this bottom section. It kind of annoys me that it's empty, but at the same time, I'm kind of okay with that. Like, it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, the other side I have to do, obviously, but I have not a lot of things left. Um, I think most of it's going to be filled up with plushies and stuff like that because I have a ton of plushies that are coming in in future pre-orders and that's gonna be interesting <laughs> um, and yeah hopefully I can find a different tote so far this one's pretty good because I just love the color of it 
it matches Alba Josai really, really well. But yeah, this is my Ita bag, and I hope you guys enjoyed this nonsense. <laughs> Bye.